Hey guys, here's your first um, set of notes that we're going to cover. Uh, we're going to be talking about what is science, okay? So science really is the study of structures and behavior of our world through observation and experimentation. So scientists, what they do is they observe lots of different things and they experiment lots of different things together um, to kind of figure out how the world works and how... Um, different things behave together, whether that's animals, whether that's um, things you learn in physical science, like atoms um, and neutrons, protons, things like that, um, or with chemicals, like with chemistry. Uh, but biology, we're mainly going to be talking about how life, um, how animals and plants and all those things interact with each other. Um, and we're going to be carrying out some labs through observation and experiment as well because we are scientists so biology is a study of life okay um, that's what we're going to be focusing on for all but the very first few weeks essentially because we're going to be talking about earth science for the first few weeks but we are going to be talking about earth so that is related to biology as well um, the first thing I want you guys to do Every week when you do these notes, because we will have weekly notes you'll be doing, is you're going to go find the learning target and you are going to write it in your notebook. Okay, so from the video from before, our introduction, introduction how-to video, um, you're going to find the learning target by going to your courses and getting biology, okay, and then you're going to click on your unit that we're on and the date. And you're going to find your weekly learning targets. So you click on that, click on the link, and it will take you to my lovely Bitmoji classroom, and it's going to have the learning target with you right there. So it says, the learning target for this week, I can design something to solve a problem. So that's kind of what you did with your Bitmoji challenge, okay? You designed something to solve a problem, okay? Um, and then you reflected on that. Um, we're also going to be having... DCIs, SEPs, and CCCs, okay? I'm going to go back to my notes for a second. So our DCIs, they're, this is our disciplinary core idea, okay? The question that falls under this is do you know science, okay? So do you know, like, the content we're talking about? So you can always think of it that way. And it's always going to be in orange, okay? Um, our SEP is our science and engineering practice. And if you're not writing this down, guys, you need to be, okay? Because everything that I'm writing, you're writing, okay? Science and engineering practices. This is, can you do science? Wow, I can't type today, guys. Can you do science? So can you carry out observations? Can you... Um, Ask questions. Can you engage in an argument uh, with different evidence? Okay, that's some of the science and engineering practices, which you will find out that w when you um, either watch our lab and do it, or um, you're doing it with us in class. Um, this is always going to be in blue. Okay, always. These colors will never change, guys. Never ever. Okay. Our third one is our cross-cutting concepts. It's kind of a tongue tongue twister. Um, Cross-cutting concepts. The question that goes along with this one is, can you apply science to the real world? Okay, so basically kind of relating it to things that happen in your life, things that happen outside, things that happen um, with, within a relationship with um, different things. Okay, basically kind of applying it to real world, real world situations. Cross-cutting concepts are always going to be in green, okay? I would encourage you to get highlighters. If you do not have highlighters, um, I do have sets here at the school, and I can definitely get those um, sent out to you, or someone can bring them to you if you think that um, you're not going to be able to get those. So I would like you to have a highlighter in orange, blue, green, and yellow, okay? So if you need those, please reach out to me within this first week so I can get them sent out to you, um, and we can get that done because you'll be doing a lot of highlighting uh, this semester. So you uh, you will have your own set. Um, 
let me know so I can um, talk to Mr. Schulte and we can get those to you. Okay. The, these cross-cutting concepts, we get the whole overall concept of science by connecting all three of them together. Okay, so you can see like over here, uh, you have you have a rope, okay, and the three strands of the rope are the science and engineering practices, cross-cutting concept, and disciplinary core ideas. So all those together are science as a whole. Okay, uh, one thing we'll be looking at are standards. This is an example of one of your standards. Notice how it has three different colors, okay? You have the standard up here. You have a learning target to go along with this um, later in this week. Uh, but science and engineering practice is in blue. Your disciplinary core idea is in orange. And your uh, cross-cutting concept is in green there, okay? So three different colors there. All right. Uh, I want you to add these to your notes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, there are some performance expectations um, that go along with both the um, science and engineering practices and cross-cutting concepts. So um, I want you to write these all down in your notes. These are the eight science and engineering practices. And then these are the seven cross-cutting concepts. Okay, so what I want you to do for me is to um, write down these eight, and then I want you to write down what you think you'll have to do in order to be successful in doing each of these. Okay, so the first one, asking questions and defining problems. That one's probably the most simple out of all of them. To be successful, okay, you need to ask good questions, and you need to be able to figure out what the problem is. That's simple, cut, dry. Okay, so I want you to write down each of these science and engineering practices and write down things you think you need to do to be successful. I'm not looking for specific examples, but maybe how you would be successful in doing that. Okay, I want you to do the same thing for cross-cutting concepts. So for these seven, what do you think you'll have to do in order to be able to identify these effectively? What things should you maybe be looking for? And you can even write some examples on there as well. Okay, so that's what I want you to do for your science notes okay and in the next video I'm going to be talking about um, going through the science and engineering practices um, and giving you some examples um, and then I'll also be talking about the cross-cutting concepts and some examples of those as well